So, um, this is the heated bed on my FL Sun printer. Um, and I timed it, and it takes about three minutes to heat up from zero to 60 degrees. And 60 degrees is what I print uh, PLA with. Um, this tape doesn't need to be here. Um, so 60 degrees is what I print PLA with. Because I've gotten my printer fine-tuned enough, I no longer need tape on the print bed. Um, and I just haven't used that section of the print bed in a while, which is why I haven't taken off the uh, tape. Um, but anyways, it takes about three minutes to heat, which isn't completely awful, but it's not ideal either. Um, the hot end heats in about two minutes. So, what I figured I would do is on the internet, um, some people have suggested, um, putting cork underneath your heated bed, because cork's a good insulator. Um, and in fact, in, uh, the room I'm standing in now, we used to have cork floor because... I don't know. It was actually quite soft to step on. It was nice. Um, and apparently it was a good insulator, but I don't know why you would want an insulator in your floor, but the person who sold us on it was like, it's a good insulator. Um, now we have hardwood. Um, anyways, so I bought four, I think, maybe five of these uh, big cork squares. They're not super thick, but they're just big squares of cork um, on Amazon. Because you can buy anything on Amazon. Um, so I bought a bunch of these cork squares. Um, they came in a pack. And I cut them up. Um, and mounted them to the bottom of the heated bed. Um, they don't cover the full bed because there's some screws in the middle that I had to cut holes for. Um, and I re um, cut off the edges to allow for this. Um, so it's not super precise, but it covers most of the bed. Um, and I have the bed heating now, and it's been about two minutes, and the bed is almost all the way heated, um, which is a minute better than we were at before. Um. Wait, maybe that's not the, um, perfect measurement, because I think it'll also make the bed hold the temperature for longer. Um, I, I don't know how much it actually proves improves heat up performance, but, um, also it's not a super thick layer, so, um, we might have better results with a thinner one, but it took a little over three minutes before, and, uh, now it's just finishing up, just finished, and we were at, uh, fairly, we, we were at two minutes and 40 seconds, or so, um, I'm just using the video timer for this, um, and I started the heating up, um, a little after I started the... Basically, it's in a, it, it's in a rough approximation. Um, I'm just gonna turn the printer off now because I don't want it to heat up anymore. But actually, I'll turn it back on so I can get the temperature read out. But I didn't do a before measurement of this, so actually that's useless. But it does seem to be holding its temperature decently well. It's at 59 degrees right now. Um, and I think it would be dropping quicker if I didn't have the quirk, but that's just by my observation. Um, so, I don't know, it's put quirk on the bottom of your printer, I mean, for five dollars it's worth a try, and I have way more quirk than I need. I have these two left, and then I have a bunch of uh, quirk scraps on the floor right now that I need to clean up, because I just did this. Um, but, I mean... I don't know. I'm just rambling now. Um, yeah, the bed holds its heat really well. I'll tell you that much. I just touched it, and it's still, like, quite hot. I'm gonna check again. It. So we are at 54 degrees. So it does seem to be holding its heat better, at least. Even if the uh, heat up time is only marginally quicker. And then this printer down here... I did it as well, but I didn't do it as well, and I have it held on with capped on tape here. Um, so I don't know which of the two methods is going to be better. I think this is probably better, but it doesn't hold it quite as tight because I have capped on tape going around the edges or whatever. Um, but I'm slightly worried about that peeling over time. Um, but because I have two printers, I can experiment a little bit like that. Um, so that's all. I mean, I have, like... 
decent amounts of cork scraps. Like, I could do another printer. I really only needed one of these. Um, because all of these cork scraps you see here came from one piece. And then I have... So that's all of the ones that came from one piece. And then I have some more of the same um, from the second piece. So... I really didn't need to buy all that cork, but that's what they sold it in on Amazon, and I'm not going to a physical store to buy cork for it, because, I don't know, it's just easier to buy it online. Um, on a side note, I think I will be making an updated review of these printers soon, um, after I've used them as my daily, dr my only 3D printers for a while, um, and now that there's the new firmware, the, uh, the FL Sun guy sent me an email being like, we have a firmware update, here you go. Um, so, they, they sent me, um, Mar it's Marlin 1.12, and I was on Marlin 1.11 before, um, but they configured this one better, which is nicer, because the other one wasn't configured properly, um, so, like, the, um, jog wheel here works a lot better before it was really, like, fidgety, each click didn't, like, align with a click on there, um, so that's better, it says FL Sun ready now when you first boot it up, which is kind of cool, it used to just say the standard Marlin, all systems ready, um, and it's still a fairly basic Marlin install, um, but it's just a little bit nicer now, and it homes a little bit nicer, um, and they finally have software support for the auto bed level sensor they gave me. Um, they sent me two versions of it. One if I have the updated printer with the auto bed leveling sensor. One if I have the older version. Um, so I will probably be trying that auto bed leveling sensor sooner rather than later. Now that they have firmware versions for it. Um, because I've kept that around. Um, and I'll probably make a video about that as well with the um, firmware update. So that's all right now. Um... Thanks for watching. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe. I haven't said this yet because it's a silly thing to say. But now that I'm actually gaining some subscribers, I'll say it. Um, and that is all.